Well, good day, everybody. I hope this video finds you all doing well. This is Chris, the Ancient Scholar, and I'm going to be headed out of uh, work here shortly. The uh, college where I work will be uh, shutting down here in just a, just a little bit, and security will be around to usher us on out of here. Uh, so before that happens, I figured I'd do another video reaction. I haven't done a video reaction in a bit of time, and um, I'm really interested to check this uh, particular group out. And I should say that um, it's been an incredible experience that my experience with Aesop Rock has really galvanized me to uh, consume a substantial amount of, of hip hop. So it kind of opened the door uh, to a much broader contemporary experience uh, for me. So I've been experiencing a lot of uh, different um, options in in that genre of, of music. So uh, that's kind of led into um, various artists that have some similarities with Aesop Rock, at least um, in certain themes, certain rhyme structures, and maybe a little more um, of the underground kind of um, uh, zeitgeist, if you will. Uh, so that, of course, has gotten me into um, artists like MF Doom, uh, Run the Jewels, and then, of course, uh, Killer Mike and LP, uh, respectively, or um, as, as solo artists, there's been some really good uh, stuff uh, from, from both of them as solo artists, including um, Run the Jewels as, a, as an ensemble. Uh, Tech Nine as well as um, others. And so I had come across uh, another um, uh, group. It's a group, a couple producers, and uh, uh, another gentleman who will be doing the um, vocals. And as I understand, it's it's actually very unique music, and it may kind of be up my alley in terms of kind of the more underground um, nature. Of the music, I, I'm not familiar with this particular uh, band. Uh, at least I don't think I am. And it, they go by the name of, of Clipping. Uh, fairly contemporary. They've been around since uh, around uh, 2010, 2012, right in there. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna be listening to a song off of their. I believe this is one of their newer um, albums. The name of the song is uh, "Say the Name." And I believe the name of the album is uh, Visions of Bodies Being Burned. So a very interesting uh, name. And I'll be curious to kind of um, dive into the themes that might be explored in this particular song. Um, and perhaps this is another concept album like many of the albums I've listened to. For example, um, Aesop Rock and the Spirit World Field Guide um, album, which really is a, a concept album fundamentally. I'm wondering if this might be kind of the same thing. Uh, so this is going to be Clipping, Say the Name. Let's take a look, or take a listen, rather. Ooh, that down-pitched voice. It has a, kind of a horror vibe to it. A lot of percussion. The hook gon' be what it is, the hands off, the retribution from what you took from the man. Got blood on the rust, God bless the red earth, the dead man walks the tongue bridge, a bridge, the time space, the boot, the cop. I like that beat. I like that beat. Like that beat. Look, it's powerful for four beats. So this has a really, um, I like the, the down-pitched voice, uh, you know, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of complex sounds going on, but the, the percussion is very strong, so it's a solid beat, kind of a 4-4, kind of a standard 4-4 beat, kind of, kind of slow, melodic, and um, the, some of the sounds I'm hearing in the background are uh, maybe kind of in a minor, minor key, minor chords, uh, so it kind of has a, a real spooky, unsettling kind of sound to it. Uh, so it, it, it almost reminds me of, of like a, a seance 
or, or, or some sort of um, dark ceremony where you've got, I can imagine, candles lit in a circle and a, a pentagram and the, the candles are flickering up and there are visions of a bodies being burned. And so that's kind of what I'm, I'm taking away. So this kind of has a very, very horror like vibe to it, which is, is uh, rather unique. So this is certainly thematically a very unique uh, music. And I can see why that this might resonate with me because I have really enjoyed the more, um, I wouldn't say it's horror theme, but the more, um, shall we say, supernaturally or preternaturally themed albums from Aesop Rock, uh, specifically The Impossible Kid and Spirit World Field Guide. This kind of has, maybe uh, shares some of that, that DNA. Uh, this is definitely a much darker though. This has a more evil type of, um, a tone to it. They coming on a swarm and they raining on your college ass disco. Get your collar turned up in your freshest tire. Get your bitch womb ready because this baby gonna be fine. Dang, that's an interesting bar. Um, get your bitch womb ready because this baby gonna be fire. Um, that's wow, that's interesting. So I'm almost getting a um. Uh, like a horror movie vibe. Uh, uh, this kind of reminds me of, there, there's an old movie from the, the 70s, I believe. And uh, it, it, it is all about the, the son of the devil, Damien. Um, and I'm almost getting uh, like a devil baby, uh, uh, the Antichrist. I'm almost kind of getting that sort of vibe uh, from this at this point. It's not a dream, it's a memory. Dang, that's hard. <laughs> these these are some hard bars, and the sky blacked out already. Stop screaming. The flames ain't shit to a demon. That's hard. <laughs> uh, that's really hard and dark. Subtle, subtle tones in the background. So, uh, say the name. So this is actually, um, this almost has a like a, um, a going back to old horror movie vibes, kind of like a Candyman. Uh, Candyman or a Bloody Mary vibe, and these are urban, um, urban legends where um, people look in a mirror or at something, and they they say the name of, uh, of a certain cursed entity. You know, maybe you have to say it three times, or like in the case of Bloody Mary, or something on the lines of that. So, I'm wondering if this is kind of hearkening to uh, some of these. Um, a classic and, and more contemporary um, horror movies because it seems to be pulling, you know, Damien, Bloody Mary, um, Candyman. This is kind of that Candyman kind of vibe to it. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting. I really, uh, the musically, this is very interesting. This, musically, this is, 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 is very minimalistic. Uh, there are some some very ominous tones in the background that um, are are accented uh, by the percussion, kind of a low um, melodic kind of, of percussion. It's a four four. It's four four beat. So it's it's you know, they're not doing anything crazy with polyrhythms or anything like that. Um, but it just is a kind of very unsettling, minimalistic uh, music. Uh, so it's very very compelling. They're saying it over and over again. The last thing she remembered a fast lane in December off in drift when she drives. College girl looking for the love. Going back to college. In a book, but she always kept the gloves on. So when the skin touch, shit. Oh, so she's kind of cautious and now. She just crushed a lot. 
unpales in comparison a joke to a justice she inundated with dick. Oh, thick. okay. I'm a conservative and no luck in the nervous that she would rush him, but murder wasn't discussing. The further she learned to trust him, the merge with love and lust, and she's serving it all up just because he hold her when he was bust. Until Ooh. nine months later with a stomach full of devil, baby. Till nine months later with a stomach full of devil, baby. So, um... This is a someone in college, and they're they're kind of hesitant and conservative, and now they're out of the house, and they're kind of um, experiencing all of the um, pleasures of life, shall we say? And um, now maybe um, it sounds like she's pregnant. This is kind of a this is a really common horror trope too, where you know somebody gets pregnant, and then the baby has some special demonic character or property to it. This is a super common kind of trope that we see in horror movies. So again, it seems that they're they're playing on this 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 horror trope. Uh going again going back to something like, you know, Damien giving birth to the Antichrist. Um so uh, that seems to be where this song is is centered at least in in my my opinion, I could be completely off base here. She's starting to think it's time to pump her breast, but that train left the station with a great migration. Oh, that's a great bar. That train left the station with a great migration. What a, this is a great visual as well. Tracks left right by the train. Say the name. Here we go back to this repetitive. Almost like a, an evil mantra. Repeating this. Nice full four. The percussion's really pushing this forward. Looking in the mirror, Bloody Mary. We won't even say it. Can you say it? Coldest pimp slap. Dang. Okay, so um, now we're moving on to another story. So it seems like there are specific stories um, that they're they're kind of referencing or specific situations are referencing. And what a visual, right? So Swiss cheesed a brother already half dead. So uh, it's full of whole bullet holes, essentially, is what I'm gathering. Brain leaking out of a hole in his forehead. Great rhyming, but what an incredible visual. That very dark visual, right? Someone who's been shot up. Uh, brains leaking out of a hole in their forehead. They're uh, in the process of dying. Um, that's just a really uh, horrific visual if you think about it. Lobotomies like pills, get it for cheap. The party line crack kills, they try to see. But this one more a hairline fracture, leave the... Oh, so there's some subtle stuff going on as well, right? So, uh, you know, you so they're kind of juxtaposing this this rather um, overt, right? Someone's all shot up and brains leaking out of their bullet hole or bullet hole in their forehead, and then they're now they're talking about, oh well, there's this subtle stuff going on as well. Ooh, there's some more sound coming in. So the, the sound is building up to like a crescendo. So, oh wow! So this this actually, as it it's building up, and I I'm sorry about pausing in the middle of this build up, but this actually kind of harkens back to. Um, more industrial. This is sounding much more industrial. I'm thinking with some of these sounds now, um, this almost gives me a like a Nine Inch Nails vibe. Um, not maybe more the contemporary Nine Inch Nails, but I'm thinking uh, more of the OG Nine Inch Nails, uh, say, uh, Pretty Hate Machine. Um, you know what this really reminds me of? Maybe not exactly, but the kind of this dark slow, melodic, industrial theme that seems to be running through this song. 
is um, actually a, a, a fairly popular song by Nine Inch Nails off of the Pretty Hate Machine album uh, called Head Like a Hole. This kind of has that same dark industrial tone that's fairly minimalist, um, at least at the beginning, right? You go back to Head Like a Hole, it's, you know, there's just some percussion, 4-4 four, four beat, and then it kind of builds up throughout the song. And then at the end, you have all of these other um, industrial sounds coming in. And this, so this is almost like a, like an industrial horror hip hop, uh, you know, contemporary uh, horror, urban horror kind of um, sound. Um, but this, this definitely for, for me has a, a very strong industrial base to it at least. Oh yeah, very, very cool. I love this. These sounds, this is fantastic. Yeah. I love this. Some string instruments coming in now. No vocal. Um, oh, this is fantastic. Musically, this is on fire. This is definitely departed from the minimalistic approach that we've had throughout the first part of the song. Oh man, this is the engineering's really good here too. Mixed really well. Now sounds are starting to drop out a little bit, but... Oh, oh that's fantastic. Um, yeah, wow, what a really compelling song. So I'm wondering, are all of the songs on this album or clipping kind of like this, where it, it kind of starts off as a fairly minimalistic song and then, and then, and then ramps up or pr progresses? right, a progressive um, industrial hip hop kind of sound, or is this maybe unique to this particular song? I don't know. This is really this is super compelling. And I, I really want to, I want to dig in a little more and, and check these out. But that, this song is incredibly compelling. Very, very horror themed um, as well, which is somewhat unique. I think somewhat unique in hip hop um, to be so overt about the horror themes um, there are some other, uh, bands that do, um, play around with, with, with more horror themes. I'm thinking like Insane Clown Posse, uh, but they're much more, when I listen to Insane Clown Posse, it's much more, mm, ironic, if you will. There's a lot more irony, a little more tongue in cheek. This is, um, much less ironic at least as far as I can tell this this is much more this is much more serious it's taking itself very very seriously and so the the atmosphere and the tone is um, much more uh, horrific if you will uh, and I love the vocals uh, I think it's is it Davi Diggs I believe is who does who's doing the vocals here and um, I I don't know him with clipping, but I know of him just because he is a very prolific artist. Um, he's associated with a, a musical, Broadway musical, Hamilton, I believe. He, he was like Jefferson, right? He played Jefferson. Um, I'm not a big musical person, so I'm sorry. Um, but I know that he is uh, heavily involved in many different artistic pursuits. Um, but I didn't know at, that he was involved in, in 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 this kind of music at all. So this is really compelling. Uh, so I think I'll go ahead and cut it off here. Uh, let me know if you think I should pursue additional uh, clipping songs or if this is um, characteristic of the kind of music they do. Because if it is, uh, this is this is super compelling and I want to explore uh, more of it. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. For, for hanging in there and hopefully you enjoy uh, this video which is um, a bit different than the educational content I'm typically putting up but 
I, I've liked doing this and I've had some really great comments uh, in responses and replies to my prior reaction videos. So we'll see how this one does. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.